from ships in bottles to radiometers there's always objects that make you wonder how they're made with 3d printing you've got a new tool to use to make these seemingly um, impossible objects um so today um we're going to be showing you not the most exciting thing but how to embed magnets into your prints we'll do something more imaginative in the future but the technique shown here is the same originally we did have the magnets on the outside of the um trinket box and it worked fine. However, it was a bit fiddly, um, you know, gluing the magnets inside of the cavities. And we were worried that they might fall out. It was just a little bit of a fuss. So we decided to update the creation, um, embedding the magnets inside of the 3D design. And we really love these little trinket boxes. They're really satisfying just to open and close. The little click. And we've given most multiple of these out for gifts. They're really cool little trinket box, pick boxes. Um, and this is really cute. Now we'll pass you over to younger me. If you did want to make one of these pick boxes and you don't have the magnets, then they're about four quid, um, four pounds and four US dollars um, on Amazon. Link should be in description if you want to buy them. The magnets have arrived, so let's 3D print a pick box and get these magnets embedded inside. Here I'm using Blender to model my boxes. That is off the scope of this video, but you do need to know that we have these little cavities to slot the magnets in mid-print. They are a tad bigger than the magnets, so we can drop the magnets in. So now we're in the slicer. Um, if you've got a 3D printer, you'll know what this is. For those of you who don't have 3D printers, the slicer will slice your design into layers that the printer will print out one by one. So here's our lid and we're just scrolling through to find the first layer. Um, and you can see here that we've got a nice guitar shaped inlay. So it's only going to print just the purple part, leaving a nice guitar shaped space to put in the inlay. If we scroll up a few layers, we can see the hole where the magnets are going to be going. And at this point, the gap for the guitar inlay is just being capped off. And I'm going back and forth here where the magnet cavities will be capped off. At the layer just before the cavities are capped off, I'm going to add a command to pause the print. Then that will give us time to just pop those magnets in the cavities and then resume the print just to cap them over. Incidentally, the language that 3D printers use um, it's called G-code and M601 is the code to pause a print. And look at that, a space just to put a nice little message in. It's just paused. So now I can put the magnets in. I want the magnets to obviously be the same way up. So um, I've put them on the end of these pliers here. I've also marked... Um, one side of the sharp um, of the magnets with sharpie, um, so I know which way is which. So I'm just gonna put it in here and slide it off. You can see the sharpies on top of there. And then I'll do the same to the other one. Oh. Make sure the sharpies on the top. I'm having trouble here because the space I left to put the magnet in in the prototype was still a little bit too tight. I eventually okay. got it in there. And now I'll resume it. So I'm just going to press it, scroll down to resume print, and press it again to resume. And it's just going to heat it back up and then print again. While that prints, just a quick notice, 87% of our viewers are not subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button now. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. So that's finished. We did the same thing for the pick box. Um, so we put the magnets in here and then we resumed the print. And I didn't actually actually check that I put the magnets in the right way around. So here I'm kind of hoping that it all works. I wonder if it fits. Yeah, that does fit. That's quite cool. This one here, if I pick that up, this is really nice. It's made out of transparent materials. So the magnets are actually embedded, but you can see them if I take the lid off. You can see the magnets inside there. So that's really nice. Um, we've also got, where is it? I can't find it. This one here, um, 
This is the older design, if I get a newer one up. You can see the lid is a lot thicker. Um, also, obviously the magnets are not embedded in here. They're glued on after we've um, finished the print. And this is printed actually with our old printer, not the Prusa one. Um, and don't know if you can see that too well on the camera, but it's got a bit of elephant foot. Um, so it's kind of warped, it's not a straight line. Um, this one is new design, obviously, printed by the Prusa. You can see that's really straight. The Prusa's done really well with this, quite happy with that. Um, magnets are embedded, you can't see them. In my opinion, a slicker, more neater design. Um, we've also got... That's Amelie um, sneezing into the mic. Let's look at some of, of our failures. So this one, printed by the old printer, I think. Um, yeah, it is, because it's warped. Um, old design, and we left it out in the sun. Pretty sure we printed this with PLA, and you can see what's happened here. It's kind of bent and ruined it. Um, we've also got this. This is what you watched get in print on the video earlier. If you remember, the magnets were really hard to kind of put in. And the the magnets knocked the printer nozzle here, and it kind of offset everything. So that's what's happened here. Um, this is actually made out of wood. If I get a, this one, this is a wood filament. Um, so this is really neat. You can sand it down. Um, really nice to work with and a good finish. Um, we've also got this bag. This really shows how good the processor printer is. This bag is made out of the wood filament as well and you can see all the creases in there but it's a sturdy solid bag. Okay so um, we're probably going to finish the video off here. Um, stick around for a few more minutes because you'll see um, our first intro for this video which was me when I was younger. We've been considering starting to sell some products um, and notes like electronics projects stuff like that. Um, as a first step we're planning to print a few samples of these trinket boxes as featured in the video just test the market see if there's any demand for what we have to offer. Additional information can be found in the pinned comment or the description section. Um, please do let us know how much you think they're worth um, any information would be greatly appreciated so thank you. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. We just wanted to let you guys know that we've set up a Buy Me A Coffee page where you guys can support us and help us create better content for you guys. By supporting us, you'll be contributing to our college funds and helping us invest in better equipment, tools and resources to improve the quality of our content. Every little bit helps and we truly appreciate any support that you can give. Thank you so much for being part of our community and helping us grow. Link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and bye. Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about these cool pick boxes that we designed and 3D printed. Um, incidentally, if you do, if you've got a 3D printer and you want to print one of these off, um, we are just putting up them up on printables right now, so um, link should be in the description, go there and you can download the file. Also, we'd love to see your prints of these if you do print them off. And we're also going to be talking about these in-printed magnets inside these um, pick boxes.